Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Thoughts. I'm doing your weekly reading for November 22nd through the 28th. I do want to remind everybody that this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal reading, um, there are directions in the box below. Just email me and I'll be happy to get that set up for you. And in addition to that, I hope you have subscribed to the channel already. It does throw your energy in with the rest of us and helps me to pick up on your energy a little bit better. So Capricorn, we're going to pull your energy, the person that you're connected with, and the connection itself. Um, we'll also pull an outcome, and then we'll get some guidance. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn for November 22nd through the 28th, please? Energy of Capricorn. All right, so we have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords. So you may very well be dealing with an air sign. You don't have to be. It could be someone with air in their chart. Or you may just be encompassing this energy of the Queen of Swords. But what I see here is that something has happened, Capricorn, that has left you feeling a little sad. There may be some regrets. Um, but I feel like this is a card of, of a lot of sadness here. Um, and I feel like it left you a bit unbalanced as well. Um, it could have been regarding a, a decision that was made here, but I definitely feel like there's a lack of balance, and I feel like you're really defensive right now. Um, I do feel like you're willing to listen to what is said to you in a situation, but I, I also feel like, you know, if it's not what is in your best interest, you're going to cut something out here. I also feel like you are being open to hearing from spirit. So you may be a little bit cool and detached at this time. Um, you may be coming across as, you know, kind of being distant and a little icy, which is really not you. It's not how you usually come across Capricorn. Um, you know, Capricorns are, are very earthy people, very passionate people. But I feel like you, you're coming across here a little cold, a little distant. It feels to me as if there's something here that has hurt you. And I think I see with the Seven of Wands, you just feel like, you know, you have all kinds of obstacles coming at you and you have to defend yourself. So let's look at the energy of the person you're connected with. I see the energy of the person. Okay, that was fast. All right, so they have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So there's a connection here that this person has either walked away from or they they are considering walking away from. Um, this is a, a very stable relationship, or it has been in the past, um, but I feel like this person is really up in their heads, um, really going over and over and over things that have happened, things that have occurred. Um, they, they've kind of become a prisoner to their own thoughts, essentially. And I feel as if um, this person is looking at this relationship and it's not reflecting back what they had thought they would see. Um, so I, I feel as if there is a, either they're walking away from something or they're walking towards something. We'll clarify it. Let's look at the energy of the connection. That may tell us a little more. Mm. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, and we have the Death card. So yeah, this, this connection is either going through a transformation or it has ended. And I feel like with this Queen of Wands in reverse, you're kind of holding back here, Capricorn. I don't feel as if you are, are really putting any, any action into this. Um, it's either transforming or it has ended. So let's look at what what is the challenge to this connection. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so there may have been a lie here. Um, the Ace of Swords can indicate a, a lie or dishonesty. It also has to do with communication. So there may be a need for there to be open and honest communication. Um, or there may need... I feel as if there's some kind of a truth that needs to be told here, some kind of 
honest communication about about a truth or about something that was untrue. What is the outcome by the end of the week? We have the four of pentacles in reverse and we have the six of cups. So yeah, letting go of the past, releasing the past, letting go, letting go of something that you felt chained in, something that you felt, um, you felt, you know, was holding you back imprisoning you in a sense um and it, it is someone or something from the past all right so uh bottom of the deck we have the three of swords so i don't know capricorn this is a heavy reading it looks to me as if there's a lot of pain here um and for both parties there's pain with this three of swords there's been heartbreak in this situation it does look like this connection ended or it may be ending in order to transform. But I do see that there's a lot of sadness on your side. A, a bit of being un imbalanced and very defensive. Um, on their side, I see them really up in their head about things. Um, kind of looking back over this connection. And either walking away from the connection. Or, or it could be that they are considering walking away from it. But you see them looking back over their shoulder. So... There's, you know, there's like some indecision here. It's almost as if they're walking away, but they're not quite sure it's what they want to do. Um, now, for you, I don't see you putting any action into this. I see, you know, it's either transforming or it is ended. It feels to me as if it's ended. And in order to get this back on track or even to bring closure, it looks to me like there needs to be some really open and honest communication. But I see you letting go. I feel as if almost you, you almost felt imprisoned in this connection. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you're letting this go. Let's clarify. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, so I feel like there is some sadness, possibly some regret here. Um, but I think you were waiting for this connection to end. Um, you have the three of wands and you also have the ten of coins in the reverse. So, yeah, the, I feel like you were waiting for this connection to end. Um, and I feel as if you're now looking out to see what's next. Um, why is the two of pentacles here? Hmm. So we have the six of coins in the reverse and we have the moon. So there were secrets. There were secrets here um, and it's left you extremely imbalanced. And if there weren't secrets, it's just that you felt like you were in the dark about something, which is probably why we have this ace of swords here. So there's something that you feel like you don't know or that you're kind of in the dark about. You're possibly not seeing it clearly, um, but... I feel as if it's re you're really feeling imbalanced in, as this is ending. Um, can I get three cards for the bottom of the Alright, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Judgment in reverse. Ace of Pentacles also in the reverse. Okay, so... Nine of coins in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you're you're kind of you're over this, Capricorn. Whatever has happened here, you you are feeling imbalanced, but I feel like you're you're also extremely defensive, and you feel like you know there's going to be there's going to be a lot of um, talk about this. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to come your way as a result of this, and you're just bracing yourself for it. Um, there, there will be some insecurity w related to that. I, I feel as if you're going to get an onslaught of opinions, possibly from from other people, family, friends, um, you know, coworkers, possibly. It just feels like you're you're bracing yourself for this. It is going to cause a little bit of insecurity, um, but I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to be fine. You may have some concerns or worries about finances. Um, in your ability to hold yourself on your own. Um, so there may be concerns with that, but there's definitely something here that is ending. 
And I see that with the judgment in reverse, you're not willing to give it a second chance. Yeah, you, you, it looks to me like you're, you're going to listen to what everybody has to say, but you've kind of made up your mind. Um, why is the Eight of Swords here for the person that Capricorn is dealing with? All right, so there's that Six of Cups in reverse again. We have it also down here in the outcome. So what is this person up in their head about? Well, they're up in their head about letting this, this go as well. Um, I feel as if they are going to communicate with you. I feel like they also are trying to release um, this past relationship. Um, they may see you as a soulmate as well, but there's a cycle here that is ending and a new cycle beginning. And they're really up in their head about talking to you about this, communicating with you about this. Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, they're not willing to work at this any longer either, at this relationship. And they may not have worked at this relationship for quite some time. Um, and so uh, they're looking forward to a change. They're, they're ending this cycle. This is transforming now. If the relationship itself isn't ending, but for most of you it is, um, there is a cycle within this relationship that's ending because there's a change coming. And I feel like for most of you, it is an ending of this connection. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, they are looking back over their shoulder, though. This is somebody you may have been in a relationship with for quite some time. Um, they're not quite letting, letting you go here. Um, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have Death in Reverse. So as they're walking away, they're looking over their shoulders. So King of Pentacles... Um, Capricorn is earth sign, and it's also um, the person in the tarot, the king of pentacles is the husband, or um, so it's somebody that you've been in a, a relationship with this person for a minute. Um, this is not a short-term fling. This is something that is a little bit more long-standing. We see that with the Four of Wands. We see that with the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles would represent you as Earth sign. So as they're walking away from this, and that's why they're all up in their head, as they're walking away from it, I told you earlier, they're looking over their shoulder. They're looking back at the connection. They're not emotionally over this connection. Um, they're still emotionally tied to it even if they're physically walking away from it and that's what's creating the conflict for this person but i feel like i feel like they haven't been putting the work into this for quite some time anyway can i get three cards for the connection please you on the other hand i don't see you looking back and you know I, I feel as if you're not giving this another another chance. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords again in the reverse on the connection. Um, we have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Ten of Wands. So two tens. Um, tens are all about completing cycles. So I feel like there was a lie here. There was something that was untrue. There was something that was not communicated truthfully and i feel like that is what has caused this ending you feel like you're in the dark you feel like there's things you don't know um spirit is confirming that that is true and i feel like you were you were pretty devoted to this connection capricorn um at one point this this connection made you very happy but over time i feel like there were things that were done that were not there was there were things done in the dark. There were things that were done that were, were not honest and truthful. And so I feel like, you know, you're looking forward to happier days. I feel like you're not willing to give this connection another chance, although you do have some insecurities moving forward regarding finances and, and your independence. But I think that, you know, you're just not willing to put any work into this connection anymore. 
Um, for them, I feel like they're very burdened and it seems as if this person might be carrying some guilt. Um, they are going to want to talk to you. So I would expect that if you haven't already talked with them about this, but they're going to talk to you about is, you know, ending this connection. Um, and they're also going to, some of, this isn't for very many of you, but there's a few of you out there that this person might be moving at a distance from you as well. Um, which that may be a surprise to you. That might be something that you, you are unaware of. Um, but that's for only a, a few people. Um, but this person feels as if ending this connection or, or for some of you transforming this connection is going to release the burdens that they're feeling. I feel like this person, Capricorn, that you're connected with has, has a lot of guilt. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse here? Wow. All right, we have the Devil in reverse. And we have the Lovers. So somebody had a choice between two people. I'm not seeing a lot of third party here, um, so they may not have acted on this, but I can tell you that, you know, there's some dishonesty regarding another person, um, regarding a decision between two people. Um, I feel as if you just want to let go of the toxicity. So we have the devil in reverse, we have the lovers. Um, I also feel like you feel like this person, I don't think you feel like this person is necessarily a soulmate, but they feel like you are. Um, but I feel like you think that this is a toxic relationship. And, you know, Capricorn, it, it very well may be. Um, like I told you, this person has a sense of guilt. I'm not seeing third party in this. Um, now, there may be, for some of you, it might be, though, that this person has not, you know, the choice might not be. It's usually a choice between two people, but what I'm seeing here is that there is a big choice to be made. And possibly if it is between two people, this person may not have acted upon, you know, anything at this point. I can tell you that there's dishonesty here, though, and it's toxic. And I think that you're just ready to end this toxic cycle. All right, so can I have three cards for the outcome? All right, Capricorn. We have the Hierophant. We have the Chariot. And we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So again, another ten. I can tell you that you, you have felt very betrayed in this commitment. Um, and I feel as if you're, you're beginning to heal from that. You're... As you let this go, um, it's going to be a weight lifted off of you. I feel like it's going to bring a lot of healing to you, Capricorn. I feel like you may have um, felt bound to this commitment, bound to this, um, almost imprisoned by it. And I feel like you're letting it all go. You know, Capricorn, it looks to me like you're actually in a really good energy here. I know that there's been a lot of heartache and pain you, you felt betrayed. There's some untruths here. And, and I feel like you're letting it all go. You're releasing it and you're healing. So your energy is really good. Now, the person that you are dealing with is he or he or she is um, moving forward. They, they are also releasing this past and they are moving forward into another commitment. So again, we have that choice between two. I feel like there's somebody waiting in the wings for this person. And I feel like that they are walking away from your connection, but they're looking over their shoulder. And I feel like they're still emotionally connected with you. I feel like they, you know, they may not be telling you that. That may be another thing that you're kind of in the dark about. But this person hasn't completely released you at this point. But I think you have. I think you're, I think you're done. So expect communication from this person. It's not going to be them professing their, their love for you. They're going to be talking to you about, you know, ending this cycle, um, releasing, you know, the connection. And I don't know that they're actually going to tell you that there's someone waiting in the wings, but I feel like there is. And I also feel like this person feels guilty about it. And I feel like they're not, they haven't acted on it. 
I don't feel like anything has actually occurred. But for you, Capricorn, um, you're feeling like this is toxic. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this has been a nightmare for you. And I feel like you're releasing it and you're healing and you're moving forward. So can I get three guidance cards? Three cards. There's two. One more card, please. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so here's what we have. For you, Capricorn, we have the Sea Beacon Fairy. It says guidance, but where will it lead you? And I couldn't help but giggle when I saw that. So I know that you're seeking guidance. You're looking at uh, the tarot videos. You're, you're, you know, this has been very difficult and you are seeking guidance. But ultimately, I think that, you know, use these tarot readings and use the, the, um, the guidance that you receive in the tarot readings, use it to guide your life. Don't, don't fall victim to feeling as if you have no control or choices in your life. Um, the value of tarot readings is that they, they can kind of show you where the energies are going, but keep in mind, you get to decide. You get to make the choice and you can change that energy. And that's where the value in the tarot readings come from. You know, you're not, it, it, the, just because we see one thing here doesn't mean that it's always going to go that way because everybody has free will and free choice. Okay? These are probable outcomes. All right. So, guidance, but where will it lead you? Now, for the person that you are connected with, very interesting. They have mildew fairy, cleanup time. And I told you, this, this person is feeling guilt. This person is feeling um, burdened by this. And they're, they feel as if walking away from this connection is going to release the, all of that guilt, all of the burdens. However, that's not the answer. It's not in walking away. It's in coming clean. It's in telling the truth. Um, you know, being having open and honest discussions. And then for the connection, we have... Lady with a Bosch egg. So it says ancient wisdom. Okay, so eggs are all about fertility. Uh, eggs are all about, um, you know, birthing something new. Well, not birthing, but hatching. <laughs> so, um, so it's all about newness. Um, and I feel as if with this card, ancient wisdom, I feel as if, you know, that you are being guided here, Capricorn. I feel as if there's something new that's coming out. Um, if we look inside this egg, we see a little bird. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little bird. And birds are messengers. So I feel as if with ancient wisdom, you're being directed and you're being guided. So just open your heart to that. And the person you're connected with is also being guided as well. Um, like I said, each of you have opportunities to use that guidance. So... For you, I think that you're being you're being told, look, you have guidance, use it. It it will you have your internal guidance and you have guidance from spirit, so use it. All right. So I hope this has been helpful to you, Capricorn. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video and drop me a comment. I do read all of your comments, okay? Until I see you next time. Namaste.